Good morning, everyone. Hello. And uh, it's a great pleasure to be here with you today and to share uh, some of my experience on social media. First of all, I'd like to present myself. I'm Arija Slim, presenter and be in sports. I present uh, sports news, talk shows, and also I uh, present uh, tennis studios, basically. Um, now, uh, yesterday I was asking myself, when did I decide to use social media and why did I decide to use social media? Though, you can be through TV an influencer. So I remembered, and I think most of you, or I don't know if I was alone, when I was a kid, I used to think that if I open the screen, I can communicate with the presenter behind the screen. And this was like weird for me, but it was curiosity, I think. So nowadays, this is an option, it is possible. You can do it through your phone. So maybe some people who usually interact with presenters, they do it first curiosity, the person they see on TV they'd like to interact with. So maybe this is why I chose to enter social media at first and I chose to start with Facebook and then I deleted it and I went to Twitter, Instagram and Snapchat lately. Uh, now social media is a place where I can express myself in a larger or a wider space more than TV because you know on TV you can express yourself, you can be an influencer but at the same time you are limited with a, and focused on something so special which is sports basically for me. So social media is my space where I can interact with my followers and the special thing for me about using social media is that I am influenced also with my followers and uh, I cannot get this opportunity if I didn't use social media. So now my followers are also my influencers. It is a space where I can communicate with them, uh, where I can exchange my ideas and where they can become my friends, my advisors, and they can give me advices regarding my work. So my work now it's linked to social media. It is so important for me now to use social media to be an influencer on social media. It's not enough to be an influencer on TV. Now I'd like to um, show you a bit of my content on uh, my social media. So I use it to promote my work. Like if we have big events, for example, this was uh, Champions League final. So I promote my work. Yes, being sports does not need my promotion, but it is for my work and it is easier for followers through their phone to know what's on my activities. And honestly, I've never tried to be an influencer. It is like something true, something from my heart to my followers. And it does work because they get interested by what you post, by who you are without trying to do an effort. And this is so, something so important for me. Uh, you can see like I post some uh, content with uh, tennis stars who visits our studios and this is a kind of promotion for my work also and for what we usually do on social media. Now this is important because this is from Twitter, yes, and it, it is in Arabic. I think some people won't understand it. But we have uh, a TV show, it's called Alu Bn, and it is uh, focused on social media and on people interacting with us through social media and it is so successful because we have a hashtag on Twitter, on Instagram and it is based on people's communicating with us, people sharing their ideas with us and people giving their ideas uh, with us. So this is basically one of our uh, TV shows. I usually post something uh, about science because I am interested in this thing and people through TV, they wouldn't know this thing about me. Uh, also you can see some uh, pieces of books, some writings, some just information, and uh, social, and, and now you can see tennis also because basically uh, I work in tennis. So uh, people at the beginning, I have some followers who weren't interested uh, in tennis and now they changed so social media can change actually the interests of some people. You can change anything by any time. 
this is some uh, statistics of people following me, what are they interested in, and the thing is that I found that my followers are interested in stuff that is really interesting for me. So my followers started to look like me, uh, and this is something that made me more into social media, made me more want to be close and be active on social media. It is part of my work, it's never enough to be uh, influencing through TV. You have to be more close to people who are watching you. It gives more respect and it is a big responsibility at the same time working in a TV channel that has credibility, ethics, and at the same time holding these ethics and these thoughts into your social media, it is a big responsibility, and at the same time, it's something so special for me. I need some of your coffee, because I think, <laughs> I think your energy is from this big amount of coffee. Thank you. So uh, this is like a, a small um, introduction about uh, me and my social media uh, as a presenter using my social media accounts and how important it is for me to be influencing also on social media. Now my colleague uh, Mohammed Sadun is one of our biggest stars at the channel. He has a big experience also with social media, with followers, and with uh, media interaction. Thank you everyone. And this is a very nice opportunity. Thank you so much. Good, sir. How's your new fan? Oh, so they told you, huh? <laughs> I wanted to keep it a secret, but of course they put me on blast immediately. <laughs> Thanks, friends, for like <laughs> taking all my confidence and letting it all out. Um, yeah, so I went on a little adventure real quick, but again, like super impressed with the Ritz Carlton staff. They immediately, in two seconds, by the way, note to self, don't do deep squats when you're wearing skinnies, okay? These tight pants. I bent over to pick up my stuff, and I was like, all the way down, and completely split my pants in half, so I was like, trying to just keep it tight, you know, walking around, I was like, I need new pants, went downstairs real quick, they sewed it up in five minutes, Taylor, brand new pants, so I'm back, guys, I'm back, thank you. Anyway, uh, I offer you a free pant, I have a Taylor. With a Turkish partner designer, yeah, which I'll speak about later. Okay, and I'm happy to uh, present you a full suit actually for free. Inshallah. 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 <laughs> so good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's my pleasure, and I'm very proud to be here uh, with Inflow. So before talking about uh, my media career, uh, I'm ex tennis player. I started tennis when I was very young. I was uh, just six years old when I started playing tennis. Um, and I was the first Qatari player to turn pro, to play professionally in uh, France in year 2002. And then by coincidence, I went from sports to sports media, where I started my career as a journalist and a reporter in Al Jazeera Sports when uh, the channel was established back in 2003. Later on, I, I joined Al Jazeera as a main presenter of sports news. And I came back uh, later to uh, Al Jazeera Sports, which is BN Sports currently, where I am uh, the main presenter of uh, the Premier League, the uh, Football League of England. And I also mm -hmm. uh, present uh, the Champions League. This is our Premier League studio, which is the largest uh, Premier League studio uh, worldwide. Um, I was lucky also to present uh, the World Cup final in Brazil 2014 in the uh, stadium of Maracana where Germany uh, defeated uh, Argentina in the, in the final. Now, I would like to uh, speak a little bit about my social media platforms. Uh, earlier, uh, Rashid Gracie from uh, Qatar Tourism Authority spoke about the importance of content, of positioning, of segmentation in, in social media, which I focused a lot. These are my main uh, social platforms. So in Twitter, I have uh, around 1.4 million followers. Uh, Instagram, more than 400,000. Uh, and in Facebook, uh, around 1.1 uh, million followers. So in total, it's around 3 million uh, followers, uh, so different I countries. Because we present for the whole Middle East and North Africa, okay. so we have a reach uh, through being sports to around 26 countries, from uh, Oman in the east till Morocco in the west, which give us a great opportunity to reach more people, mainly from the Arab world. I tried to, to utilize this benefit 
of having uh, this large uh, exposure. I started my uh, personal business. I got uh, a franchise from uh, Austria called Coffee Shop Company. And I would like to speak a little bit about my uh, entrepreneurship experience. Uh, one of the main role why I got the exclusive franchise from an Austrian company was based on my social media uh, influence. And because of that, they wanted to partner their logo, their brand, with my personal uh, brand and platforms. It was a very difficult story for me as an entrepreneur because I did not have any experience in food and beverage. I had experience in uh, media, in marketing, but never in food and beverage. It was a very tough uh, decision to take to uh, jump into food and beverage. It was, I believe, a big mistake, but I learned a lot. Uh, I spent two years from 2002 to 2014, uh, 2012 to 2014, uh, not making money, losing a lot of money. Uh, two years later, I turned from a strategic partner to a CEO of the company. And uh, luckily, uh, I'm running now 15 outlets in, in Qatar, uh, alhamdulillah. This is our biggest uh, branch in Aspire Park here in Doha. Uh, going back to segmentation and uh, getting linked with, with brands, it was very uh, difficult and very important decision for me to take. Um, I was thinking always about positioning and linking my personal name with big brands. So I refused a lot of good off offers in terms of, uh, of money getting paid for, uh, and I was focusing more on uh, linking my name with big brands. So I refused a lot of good offers in terms of, of money, uh, but I accepted less money for bigger brands because I was thinking a lot about my personal positioning uh, and segmentation. So I was, uh, for three years, the brand ambassador of Audi here in Qatar, uh, and I participated in different events with Audi. This was uh, a picture for one event uh, was held in Barcelona in Spain. And I also became the brand ambassador of Puma Middle East, and I'm still the brand ambassador of Puma Middle East for the fourth uh, year in a row. And it was very important for me to link my name with these uh, big brands. Later on, uh, I joined also Qatar Charity as a brand ambassador, where I tried to, to maximize the benefit of my social platforms to help charity as well. This is an interesting project where I worked for. I worked also as an executive director of marketing and communication in Qatar charity, where we created this uh, brand called Al Mutanafisun, the challengers uh, in Arabic. And we tried to maximize the, and utilize the benefit of uh, social media influencers to bring them together to, to uh, create kind of competition to uh, raise funds for different uh, noble reasons. And Alhamdulillah, uh, the project is still going on. Maybe you cannot see this picture well, but this was the second edition of Al Mutanafisun, where in two months, uh, the influencers were able to collect around 11 million Qatar Riyal, which is more than 2 million euros only through social media platforms. That shows that there is a huge benefit that we can always use and utilize through social media. Back to, the, to my offer to him of uh, giving him a suit. Uh, I present with suits mainly in BN Sports in the Premier League and Champions League. So uh, wearing good suit was always something important I was looking for. So six months back, I was searching in Instagram for, for designers and suits. And by coincidence, I found a, a great uh, Turkish uh, designer. His name is Barish Korbal from Istanbul. And this guy is very creative uh, guy, like you. Um, so I contacted him. I said, are you interested to work with me? He said, what do you like to do? I said, first of all, I would like to wear nice suits from you. And then maybe later on, we can, we can open a shop here in Qatar if you are interested. Then he said, why not? I visited him in Istanbul. And a few months later, we were able, me and my partner, who you are going to see in, in a few minutes, we uh, decided to go with his brand globally. We made small changes on the brand from Barish Korbal, his full name, to Barish Bespoke, to be more of international brand. And uh, we created the company. We, uh, we own share in Istanbul with him, me and my partner, Mr. Mohammed Abu Treka. He's an Egyptian uh, football legend, also uh, very active in social media with over 10 million followers. And uh, we created this company here in Qatar. Uh, and we were able, because of our social media influence, we were able to negotiate with, with a great location like the Pearl Qatar 
to get a very good deal because they wanted us to be there to promote also their, their place. So uh, the, the shop is open now. Uh, it has been uh, operating for only 45 days. And we are still in the soft opening stage. And alhamdulillah, uh, within 45 days only, we were able to do three times sales of our uh, uh, target that we set uh, when, when, when we started. Uh, finally, this is uh, a, a video that I wanted to show to you guys. It was, uh, we had a dinner with Mohamed Salah, the star of uh, Liverpool and the second top scorer of the Premier League uh, right now. So me, Mohamed Salah and Mohamed Abu Tareka, the, the, the Egyptian legend as well. And I was surprised how this video uh, went over. Uh, it reached more than 3 million, more than 1.3 uh, million views. And it was a very small and very normal video that we took in, in restaurant. Um, I was very happy to share part of my stories to you guys. And I hope you really enjoy your time here in Qatar. And uh, thank you so much.